Today, we're running the first of an occasional feature on the passing of a member of the greatest generation, the men and women who served during World War II. James McCracken retired as a lieutenant colonel in the Air Force in 1968. During World War II, he was a U.S. Army navigator on B-17 bombers, and twice his plane was shot down over Germany. The second time, he was captured and spent the last two years of the war in a POW camp. At his burial, March 16th in Arlington National Cemetery, his children shared their memories of their dad. We knew that this time would come. We knew that when the columbariums were built, mother and dad said, we want to be in Arlington in a columbarium. So we knew back in the 80s when the first columbarium was, was constructed that this was where mom and dad were going to have their final resting place. And so we knew that they were going to be here. So this is like closure. They are now together. This was such a tribute to him. I mean, I kept thinking, too bad you can't watch this, Dad. You'd absolutely love, you know, all of this. I think it's absolutely amazing what the military here at Arlington does in honor of the veterans. I mean, my dad was a POW in Stalag Lib 3. When he was a prisoner of war, he endured many things that uh, tested his uh, physical and mental ability. You know, so to me, to see him now, I know he's with my mother. I know he's with his family. He's with the, uh, the other guys that were serving with him during the war. When we had his funeral in Fort Lauderdale, there was a gentleman there. As we were rolling out Dad's coffin, um, we sang God Bless America. And this gentleman was saluting. And I afterwards asked him, I said, did you know my father? And he said, no, ma'am, I'm a veteran honoring a veteran. And it was so amazing that, you know, there's so few people that honor our veterans. And they talk about my dad as the lost generation, or the last one of the great generation. So um, I'm just so honored that everybody out here made his final goodbye. I'm proud of him. Hi, Dad. You're with Mom now. Yeah. Oh. Mother, here's Dad. Yep. Yeah. You're together. Dad, Mother, rest in peace. I don't think there's a day goes by that I don't thank any soldier that walked father. past me for what I have. And my father and every soldier that came with him and before him. We stand here where you and I stand with the people behind us and on this field because of their sacrifice. And Hopefully, if there was ever a time that I needed to step up and be like my father, I believe I would because my father instilled pride, love of country, love of God, and love of family. Fewer than 2 million World War II veterans are still living, and roughly 850 are dying each day. At that rate, VA estimates the greatest generation will cease to exist between 2031 and 2035.